kids. But we as adults want to have some fun too. And with weekend parties and Halloween coming up, it's important to get to some reminders before we get behind the wheel. As we all know, we want to stay safe. That's why Walid Alamla joins us now live this morning from the toll road just off of 933. Walid, what are some things we need to keep in mind? Well, you mentioned it. Halloween is coming up and the weekend is going to be pretty busy. So it's going to be a lot of people in town and around so make sure you're just watching out and being careful and like you mentioned we're getting some safety tips this morning and we're joined with sergeant ted bonner of the indiana state troopers so sergeant bonner we have a busy weekend coming up here halloween parties halloween weekend coming up too uh, what are some tips that people should be watching out for yeah we have a lot that's coming up here and we are late into fall so a lot of those uh, normal activities that we do in the evening uh, have basically become nighttime activities because it's getting dark earlier and that's you reminded me earlier uh, unfortunately it's going to get even worse with daylight savings time next week so uh yeah a lot we do have things going on this weekend we got notre dame coming to town and you mentioned uh you know some of those fall activities so yeah there's going to be people going out celebrating that and uh just realizing that it's going to be darker there's going to be you know more people out and about to be safe so a number one be visible and be on the lookout watching for uh you know whether it be adults out partying or, or kids having having fun as well right and then you kind of mentioned it there too we have a little bit of parties michiana party weekend party people are going to be coming out um what are some of the obviously sober driving is a big thing that we got to be worrying about especially with the party time so what are some tips for in that situation what people should be doing yeah every drunk driving arrest drunk driving crash is 100 percent preventable and that's by either having a sober driver that's uh, going to be that designated driver or you know taking advantage of those uh the, the those those rides that are basically at our fingertips through our, our cell phones, those ride shares, like that Uber and things of that nature, and and being smart about it because you know we think about it selfishly, like you know it gets expensive, we get points on our license, we lose our license. But that's looking at us as a victim. A lot of times there's other victims too, and that's that family that can get hit and, and be, be hurt or killed by a drunk driver. And we 100% they're preventable, and we want to avoid all of that. Right. And we got to, you guys heard it here, there's a bunch of preventable ways to do it. So make sure you're just being safe, especially with this popular weekend coming on up. Yeah, your driving affects more than just you. Willie, thank you so much.